Hello, YouTubers. It's Selling Guy 60. Um, that lawn boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scrap that out, and I uh, wanted to show you what I do to scrap those things out and all the little parts that I save. Uh, I'm gonna remove this out of here. I'm not supposed to get dirty. <laughs> I'm not supposed to get dirty. So the uh, lawn boy decided just to scrap that out. So what I did, got the rest of the oil draining into a pan now. I took out the, the gas and the oil and I thought I drained it, most all of it out. But when I took the fill tube out of the bottom of the lawnmower, I see there's still quite a bit of oil left in there, so I just tipped it on its side. I did save some stuff for my pile up here, and I can show you over here. I have stuff for Briggs and Stratton, and then I have some Honda Briggs and Stratton, and what else? I think that's just Briggs. Pretty much everything I work on is Briggs and Stratton. But I'll have a little box here for, for this Tecumseh. Couldn't see getting rid of the gas tank, it's plastic. I opened, I did this like about a week ago. It's pretty dry in there. I just let the gas evaporate. Same with the carburetors. Every time I take the carburetors, I take them apart. And just let them evaporate. Some extra bolts, I'll save. I'm gonna save this pole, the top for it. Of course, you can't put it on anything else. It's not a Tecumseh. <laughs> uh, the blade. Spark plug, like I said, I had that like an hour on that spark plug, and I, I have cleaned it up now. A lot cleaner. New piece of hose, muffler, air cleaner, the head, the head gasket, and this is the oil filler. I figured I'd save that out. When I pulled that, yep, there's still some dripping out of it. When I pulled it up out of the bottom of the uh, block, like I said, there's still some in there. Little cover for the muffler. And of course the coils, you always save the coils, you know, these things kind of go out whenever they decide to. A couple little uh, knobs. And then I save the handle. And I think one of my previous videos, uh, I got a lawnmower where the handle end down here, where it bolts onto the lawnmower in the back, right over here, screws in there, was messed up. So I was able to cut the other one and beat it with a hammer, <laughs> drill another hole in it, make it work. Um, so yeah, I saved because the cables and everything are on there. So I'll just take that, put that back in my shed. But I'll put all this stuff in a box and put it up there, and and then I'll take this after I disassemble the engine, save the aluminum parts to scrap. What I have here over here is my my little scrap deal, some old motors, uh, some aluminum. This is the motor off that um, Briggs and Stratton that I had, I call it my, my Frankenstein motor. And there's a crankshaft in there, and there's the um, flywheel and stuff. And I'll separate that into a bucket just has aluminum parts. Uh, the crank is hardened steel. I think that's in there somewhere. The crank is hardened steel, so I'll be able to get a little bit more money for that if I separate some of that stuff out. Oh, I forgot. I also have... Uh, couple coils from ACs that we did this last uh, summer. That's worth some money. So that's got a lot of copper in it. So kind of a, today is the, what is today, the second. Doesn't seem like it's, doesn't seem like it's May already, but it is. So it's May 2nd, we can cut grass. Flo and I and Gus are gonna go for a ride somewhere. Maybe uh, keep our social distancing, but uh, go somewhere, maybe go do some fishing, uh, get some lunch somewhere, or take some lunch with us, whatever. And tomorrow's supposed to rain, so I'm going to go out and have fun while we can today. We can sit home any other day. <laughs> and then I'm back to work on Monday. It's my uh, time to do Monday through Monday through Monday. Next week, I'm on call. Uh, Sean and I are switching it up. It's funny that uh, we seem to be doing a lot of drain lines now that uh, people are home more often. Their kitchen drain, because our apartments, they have a kitchens 
have a common line coming down the wall. So if, if they put a bunch of stuff down them, either upstairs or downstairs, and they back up, they back up into the lower unit. So we've been doing a lot of, uh, <laughs> clearing a lot of lines uh, with the drain machine. I, I kid you not, in this last couple months, we've probably done more drain line cleans than we probably have in the last two or three years. <laughs> so uh, people are home, being safe. Uh, governor said that uh, we might go, might open everything up here fully on the 10th, which is another week. Uh, so I, I don't know about that. Our numbers here are still going up. We're uh, uh, pretty close to 500 already, and not even a month ago, I think we were at like 33. So um, it, the numbers are still going up a lot here. Uh, maybe they're going down in, and like I said, going down in New York, uh, but uh, they're rising here. So I'm going to go out and cut some grass and. And once I uh, take that motor off, tear it apart, I'll, maybe I'll show you a little bit of that after I tear it apart, show you what chunks there are in it, what's worth scrapping. So thought I would shoot a little video. I've got time. <laughs> <laughs> I've got too much time on my hands. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, bye. Hey, it's Sewing Guy 60, we're back. Um, I uh, wanted to show you, I drained some more oil, <laughs> made a mess, drained some more oil, Just fin I finished cutting the grass and making a short video, but that's another video along by itself. Uh, there's still some oil in that thing, and it's, if you look into this, down in here, <laughs> lots of oil sits down in here, and the cover, let's see. You can see the cover's got a bolt right there. That's how you used to drain them. Now you flip them upside down. But there's a lot of oil that sits down in there. Look at all that oil. And we'll see that when I when I drain this. I don't think you get all the oil out of it. And, and this shows you. I flipped it upside down and drained the oil out of it like I do my Briggs and Stratton. Like they say you're supposed to now, the easier way. And look. How much oil is in the bottom of that? Look how much oil is in that. And there's still some oil in the block. So that's how much oil is in the bottom when you add new fresh oil. So you can't say that's a, it's an easier way to drain your oil, but I don't think it's, a, it's the right way to drain it. And you can see here I spilled oil all over the floor. I got floor dry all over here. I had that on there for a while. Smashing it down. Threw some floor dry on the <laughs> lawnmower deck. But there's still oil in here. Let's see if we can even see into that hole. Let's see into that hole, there's still oil in there. Some very at the very bottom. So I'm gonna stick that back in there. That's the oil filler tube. So, uh, we're going to tear into this engine tomorrow. I'll take all this stuff off the top here, put it in a box, put a piece of cardboard up here. We're going to tear that engine apart. I'll probably pull the flywheel off tomorrow. I'll show you that. It's a lot easier to take off while it's on the mower deck. There's only like, it's only held on there by three bolts. So, I'll, I'll put this away. We'll pull the flywheel off this thing here, put it up on here, and we'll see how much oil is left in the bottom of that uh, engine. All right, see ya, bye. Hey, here we are. It's Sunday the 3rd. Different colored shirt. <laughs> I did some prepping on the lawnmower here. And uh, uh, I'll zoom in on that thing there. I took the bolt off the top of the flywheel. Now we're gonna pop the flywheel off. Maybe I'll move in a little closer. And 
better yet. Move it even closer. Let's bring this thing down. And zoom in on that thing right there. Alright. Wrong way. Okay. Okay, I got the nut loose on the top here. There's different thoughts about how to get this flywheel off here because it's this one here's pretty well rusted on there, and I think the, uh, yeah, the keyway's still there, good. It's still in the right place. So what I do is I put the nut back on it until it's flush with the top. I use a brass hammer so you pry up underneath the flywheel itself, give this thing a good whack, it should pop right up. Okay. Give it a good whack, it should come right up. This is the one that sat outside for four years. <laughs> oh, oh, this is not going to be good. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's see if we get the nut off now. <laughs> deal. Stick this up through here. Jam it into something and we'll pull the nut off. There we go. Alrighty. I'm going to stop here for a second and we'll come back. There you go. Didn't want to waste your time on me getting a wrench. Ratchet socket, got the nut off, and there goes the flywheel. And we'll save that little keyway. Save the keyway. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. Oh, look at that. Ooh, some more oil. Damn it. Like I said, there's so much more oil on this thing that needs to be drained out better. Okay. I'm going to be making a more of a mess in my, in my uh, garage than I wanted to today. Alright, looking at the... Okay. I loosened the bolts off. I broke one off. So, <laughs> doesn't surprise me though. This cover covers up the drain plug, which I'll be showing you from coming off the, from getting it from underneath. Killed my battery. Okay, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Those lithiums, when they die, they just die. The old ones, they at least give you a few, they would grind down a little bit, you know, they're about ready to die. Take the belt off this. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah. Crazy thing. Get over the top. Over the top. 
I'm trying to get it where the blade bolts on the bottom here. There we go. So I can flip this thing over. There we go. <laughs> Very graciously. Okay. Uh, still got more. There we go. That's the easy way of doing it. Just rip it off. Okay. Let's set you up on top here and get you a good view. Let's back it up a bit. There we go. Underneath here, I was telling you, there's a drain plug right there. And this drain plug, when this cover is on there, and this is the belt, it's kind of the belt cover, it sits over the top of that thing. This will work. And it's over this. Well, there is that thing. It was over the cover. Uh, I'm not orientating this right. Here's, here's how it was. It was bolted on like this. Well, you have to loosen this bolt, the one that broke off underneath here. That's better yet. There we go. Here's the drain plug right here. When this is bolted up underneath the lawnmower, this is a belt guard, kind of keeps the belt on here from flying off. You have to unloosen this bolt, which is right here. You have to unloosen this bolt, pull it up out of the way to get at the drain plug. Well, that's why they have you flip them over and drain them from the top. But the problem is, it leaves so much oil on the bottom. And I'll do one on my Toro. I've been draining my Toro the old-fashioned way for years. But I'll do one on my Toro, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, it leaves so much oil, I showed you before in the other video, before this one, how much oil is in the bottom of the pan. Well, I'm going to take this all, take this whole bottom off this thing, and I'm going to show you how much oil's actually in this thing, still. So get all the floor dry out of here, it doesn't look very good, but let's throw that on the floor. Okay. So... Let me get set up here, and uh, we'll shoot the video of me taking the bottom. Oh, man, i got to take this thing off. Ah! Oh, man. I forgot about that dumb thing. Let's just maybe just pop. Oh, look at this. Am I lucky? Yeah. Oh, boy. Is that thing coming on? Hang on. There's where some WD-40 comes in handy. These never come off this easy. <laughs> here I break a bolt off here, and then this blade adapter comes off easy. Okay. Keep going back and forth with it. never come off that easy. Something in there. Something inside this thing. Must be a 
Ah, that's interesting. And these here also have a, which I can't see it here. It's here somewhere. Maybe I'll have to clean it up. These also have a keyway. So you can actually break the keyway off at the bottom. Most of the time you break the keyway up here at the top going into the flywheel. There's a keyway in here. Sometimes it, you'll see lawnmower guys where the, the engine doesn't run right, right and this little keyway let's get that into focus it's a little steel keyway and if you look down through here you can see right there yep, little magnet there right above my finger there's a little little groove and that fits down in there on the flywheel and it keeps it in time so that thing's broken your engine's not going to run right, so that's a little tidbit. I'm sure you've seen a hundred of them. We'll save a lot of these parts on this thing. So uh, I'm going to loosen up the screws and see if I can get all my floor dry out of here. <laughs> so we're just oil. And I'm going to shut this off, I'm going to get this thing loose, loosened up, and then when I'm ready to pop it off and all the oil to come out, I'll turn this back on. Alright. Alrighty. i got two more bolts to zip out of the bottom. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six bolts in the bottom. No? Seven. Yeah, seven. There are three eighths. This is where I showed you before when it was leaking. This is the gasket to replace. This is the base gasket that goes on to the bolts of the water. And this one wouldn't be too bad if you broke this off. You could actually drill this thing out and fix it. But Okay, here's the finale. We're going to tip this back up here. I'm going to show you how much oil is still left in this thing. Okay. take a rubber hammer be a lot more gentle but since I'm scrapping this one out I'm not being very gentle same with taking that flywheel off uh, if I would have gave that a couple whacks and it wasn't coming off as good as it did I would have sprayed some WD-40 on there and taken that nut off and, and maybe used a block of wood See, or, or a puller most times you hit them and they pop right up they pop right off this one's being difficult. Come on, baby. Yes, it's not coming easy. Should be I should be a sponsor for WD forty as much as I could. <laughs> kinds of stuff falling out of this thing here. <laughs> what the hell I got? I've never had it. I don't think I've ever had it. I don't think I've ever had it to come so apart. <laughs> Alright, all the good stuff is falling out. A lot different than the Briggs and Stratton. Okay. There's the stuff on the bottom. Can you see that? That's the, uh, oh, I'm getting jumping some real oil out already. And here we go. Look at that. All that oil still in there. Oh! Oh, there's another one. Some cam parts. out of there and take my gloves off so I get my camera all greasy. Throw that back in there. 
All right. Taking you off here to show you the goodies. This is what it's all about. There. This is all the oil that's inside there. Look at all that oil. There's a bunch of junk in the bottom, though, so don't get... But look, at that's all the oil that's in the bottom because the drain plug... Well, let's see if we can find the drain plug. There's the drain plug right here. See that? There's the drain plug. So the drain plug is lower than everything else. You could probably take and lean the lawnmower towards this side where the drain plug is and get the oil from that's maybe up in here down to this cavity and get at least 95% of it or 90% of it out of there. But here's what I just drained after I, from yesterday. So look at that. So all that oil, all that oil sits in the bottom when you drain it the way that a lot of manufacturers tell you just to flip the mower over and uh, uh, and drain it that way. Where are we? There's the engine. So, uh, want to see what's on the inside here? It's a bad thing about me shooting a camera and trying to get it in position. Let's get a little closer. So on a Tecumseh, this right here, that's your governor. It's got little springs on it like the Briggs and Stratton. It f spins and these little things flip out. Uh, there's not much difference between, I kind of, everything fell out of this one. Usually when you pull a Briggs and Stratton, this stays in there. But this is probably all part of the, I'd be more careful. This is all part of the uh, uh, governor system. This is the this is the camshaft. Not bad shape. So I'll uh, this is the shaft. So I'll I'll save the the um, crankshaft for hardened steel. The rest of the stuff is aluminum. Now there's a wrist pin that's probably hardened steel in this. I'll take all this other steel and other stuff off it so it's clean. That's one thing about when you scrap stuff, it's clean. you have to try to clean it as much as you can. Get the other type of metals off it so that you can make more money off it. Uh, Alright, here we go. Back! Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. We ended up a lot of oil on the bottom. Like I said, next time I... I do my Briggs and Stratton. That might be. I think I'm ready to do it this year. I do my. I change my oil, my Briggs and Stratton every two years. I don't put that many hours on it. And oil these day, these days is so much better than it used to be. Um, uh, so I'll take this one all apart and put it in, in the appropriate uh, deals and strip as much stuff off this so I can keep all this aluminum, aluminum and the hardened steel, hardened steel. And these coils back here, I'll probably get those ready here. So as soon as the economy opens back up and the prices of copper and stuff come back up again, uh, which I'll have to check them here, which may be shortly here, I'll take all this stuff in and scrap it, make some money. So uh, that's all for today. That's the end of the Tecumseh, <laughs> as we know it. So be nice to everybody if you can, and uh, be safe. All right, take care. Bye.